There are many stars in the world right now who seem to be shining very brightly. One of them in many people's mind is Christina Aguilera. She's a popular singer turned host of The Voice, among other appearances, in the world of entertainment and has been wowing people for decades. The problem, though, is that despite her positive demeanor while on camera, she has a lot going on in her life that can honestly be construed as tragic. So allow us to show you the tragic details about Christina Aguilera. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Number five, she does yoga to help battle what is inside her. Well, I mean, especially if you want to break boundaries and do anything interesting. How we deal with stress is a big part of our lives. You can either go and make things happen to get out of your funk, or you can go and just bask in it and let it consume you in various ways. This happens to a lot of people, even celebrities. Believe it or not, Christina Aguilera has dealt with so much that she honestly had to do things like yoga in order to fight through the negativity and maintain a positive outlook on life. She spoke about this in an interview once. Quote, My whole life has been about fight or flight, but yoga has helped me to appreciate the moment and be okay with the now. No matter what chaos is around me, it gets back into my body. I've learned that the stronger you get within yourself, everything else just bounces off." End quote, Aguilera said. That is indeed why many people go and do yoga. It's a simple enough practice to pick up, and it can really help you do a lot internally and mentally. And given her contacts, we wouldn't be surprised if she hired some really good yoga instructors to truly go and find her balance. She has also turned her own experiences and darknesses into wanting to help others who are going through now what she's gone through. Quote, I know I'm not the only person who has experienced such pain and betrayal caused by abuse and violence. This is why I feel it's so important now to use my voice to support efforts to spread awareness and encourage engagement against domestic violence." End quote. What's that? You didn't know she went through domestic violence? Well, she did, and it had a big effect on her to say the least. In fact, that's one of the most tragic things about Aguilera. She didn't just suffer in her adult life, she suffered a lot in her childhood. Number 4 watching her mom suffer. Is, it does mean the most to me because you can never win that category ever again. Now, to be clear, her first bout with domestic violence wasn't via a boyfriend or husband that she had, but rather her own parents, which meant she was just a kid when this happened. Quote, I watched my mom have to be submissive to my father, watch her P's and Q's, or she's gonna get beat up, end quote. She stated that she knew she had two options in life, quote, you can either be, unfortunately, so damaged by it that you take a turn for the worse, or you could feel empowered by it and make choices to never go down that route." End quote. She did just that. She now has two kids she wants to make sure they never have to experience what she did. And her experiences with her parents even fueled a verse in one of her songs, I'm Okay. Quote, "...hurt me to see the pain across my mother's face every time my father's fist would put her in her place. Hearing all the yelling, I would cry up in my room hoping it would be over soon. I definitely wrote that song not to badmouth my father at all, but one for a healing process for myself, and two, to give people hope or a voice to relate to, to know that you can get through it and that it will be okay," Aguilera told MTV News. Obviously, that was a big thing for her to do, and it helped her in various ways. A lot of people go to music to get better because it can soothe them in ways that are hard to describe. And it's clear that for Aguilera, this was not only a way for release, but a way out of the horrors of her past life, because with a regular job and such, she might have just wallowed in what have happened to her, versus having an outlet to free herself. But that doesn't mean all her troubles are gone, because while it's nice to know that she was able to go and get out of her tragic childhood life, her adult life wasn't any easier. Number 3. Depression of course, um, you know, some moments are, are, are harder than others. Even if she didn't witness the violence against her mother, there's a good chance that Christina Aguilera would have had at least one bout with depression because of the line of work she's in. It takes a toll on musicians and actors, and more to make sure they're in peak form in terms of their looks, their productions, their songs, etc. And Christina Aguilera has admitted that she does suffer from depression at times. Quote, I do battle with depression, she said via Cosmopolitan. It's something that is always right below the surface, and it's almost seductive to go to a place of sadness and darkness. But I'm truly thankful for the darkest times in my life." End quote. That may sound oddly optimistic, but as many have noted, 
and even Christina herself said it, she's not exactly at her best when figuring out how to battle it. I definitely don't choose the safe way of living or expressing myself, but I wouldn't have it any other way," she said. Which is honestly something you don't want to admit out loud, because part of the problem with celebrity life is that you need to find outlets and often they choose the worst ones, as Aguilera's history with the law will prove. Number 2. Alcohol I'm a scrapbooker, a diary girl, so I, like, I literally… But it's so, it's so interesting… Celebrities and alcohol is a combination as old as time. And we don't exactly mean that in a bad way, but rather in a way that their lives are often intertwined with drinking because it just becomes natural for them, and obviously, that's very bad. Unfortunately, in the case of Christina Aguilera, it is indeed a problem and one she has yet to address in full because there have been multiple times when she has gotten so drunk that she gets herself in trouble, including getting arrested in 2011 for being publicly intoxicated. Then in 2015, she literally had to be carried to her car because after going to a Christmas party, hosted by Seth MacFarlane no less, she became a boozy Grinch, which is not something that someone would want to be called and yet she seemed okay with it at the time. This is a sad thing because remember, she wanted to raise her kids in a loving household, but having a mother that could become a mean drunk is definitely not the image you want them to see. Yet she keeps going back to it and that's pretty sad because it's clear she wants to do better and that she wants to be a better person for herself and her kids and yet when it comes to alcohol, she just can't stop it seems, and that's honestly really tragic. And sadly, while this is a big catalyst for her pain, it's not the only one. Number 1. The Messy Divorce Oh my gosh, yeah, he could, he could care less that I'm on The Voice, you know, like all that, like who cares, the chair, the whole… In 2010, Christina Aguilera went and divorced then-husband, Jordan Bratman, and it was anything but amicable. No, seriously, it was basically a bloodbath and it was ugly. Because from the word go, there were various accusations on both sides as to why the marriage ended, including Christina having affairs, to them having an open marriage, to rumors of Aguilera being bi and more. It filled up the headlines and it nearly broke her. Quote, it's not easy and there have been a lot of tears and sadness, end quote. She also stated that, although she had her mom and a close group of friends constantly by her side, during that tough period, the emotional turmoil got the best of her. On days when it feels impossible to even get out of bed, much less function as a mother, their support and encouragement have kept me moving forward," she said. But through it all, she knew that she had to get that divorce because of the promise she made to her kids. I knew what I was doing was the right thing for my child because I strongly believe it's better to have two homes filled with love than one filled with tension. That's one thing I learned as a child," Aguilera told others in an interview. But of course, the problem with that is that she still causes tension because of her acting out. And that might be the greatest tragedy of them all, is that Aguilera had the best motivation possible to try and straighten out her life. And yet, she doesn't do it for one reason or another. Could she truly get better? Absolutely. But will she? Only she can answer that. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the details of Christina's life and how things aren't so easy and happy for the star? Does this give you a deeper appreciation for Aguilera? Does this taint her image in your mind? Do you think she'll be able to go and continue making her life better or fall back into old habits? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, Comment the keyword hidden in the video and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple.